turn the power source off to the zone valve by lowering the thermostat. Isolate the zone valve by closing the upstream and downstream shutoffs. Once the water is isolated to the zone valve, we can start by disconnecting the wiring. Use an old baking sheet or plastic container to catch any of the fluid. Always use two wrenches to disconnect the zone valve to back up the piping. This will protect the piping from twisting or breaking any of the solder connections. Take note of the direction of flow arrow on the zone valve. The new zone valve will be installed in the same way. If installed backwards, the zone valve will still operate, but the pipes will shake or bang every time it closes. It is important to replace your zone valve like for like, so it operates properly with your controls and thermostat. This is a normally open 3 8 NPT less end switch zone valve. Please check out our other video explaining the purpose and how to select the proper zone valve for your application. Install the new zone valve in the proper direction of flow. Tighten using two wrenches to back up the piping. Before connecting the wiring, open the isolation valves and check for leaks. Connect the wiring to the new zone valve using morettes. If the wiring is in poor condition, restrip the wire. There is no need to worry about polarity in this case.
Test the operation of the zone valve by adjusting the thermostat and recheck all connections for leaks. The final steps are purging the air that was introduced into the system and ensuring your system is at normal operating pressure. Hello fellow DIYers, I hope this video helped you out and possibly save you some time and money. If you like videos like this one, feel free to subscribe. Tap our logo and hit the subscribe button. This will keep you updated on all our newest content. And remember folks, never stop learning.